Okay, today I'm going to show you some examples of the distributive property as well as just a little introduction to combining like terms. If you have the expression 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 minus 2 plus 5x squared, what we can do here is start by combining like terms by taking all the terms that are similar and putting them into one. So what I mean, for example, anything that is a like term needs to have the same variables raised to the same power to be able to be combined. Sort of like apples and oranges. You can't add an apple with an orange. So starting off with this first example here, if I have my 2x squared, I can only combine x squareds with other x squareds. So this 2x squared cannot combine with the 3x, cannot combine with the 4, cannot combine with the negative 2. However, we have a plus 5x squared here. So I can combine, if I have 2x squareds and I add 5 more x squareds, that should give me 7x squared. Okay, so that takes care of the first term. And sometimes it helps to cross these off when you're done with them, just so you know you don't have to deal with them anymore. Now we've got, let's go to the minus 3x here next. I don't see any other terms that have just x's, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this 3x down. Nothing will combine with that. Finally, this one should be easy. I've got a positive 4 and a negative 2. 4 minus 2 is 2, and that's a positive 2, so I'm going to put a plus 2. If it turned out to be negative, I'd put a minus 2. Okay, and we'll cross that off. We dealt with that, we dealt with that, we dealt with that. So our final answer here will be 7x squared minus 3x plus 2. A common mistake is people want to try to square this, bring that squared to the 7. The squared is on the x, so you're not allowed to take that squared and bring it over here to make that a 49 and then combine more. So that's actually as simplified as we can go. So we always want to look for this step in the distributive property. Okay. Now we're actually going to get to a distributive property example. If I have 3 times the quantity x minus 4, we can go ahead and start simplifying this by taking the 3 and multiplying it by each term in the parentheses. So we have the x and the negative 4. So to start off, I'll do this first one longhand and then I'll go a little quicker after that. If we take 3 times x, we'll get, write that down here. And then we're going to take the 3 times the negative 4. You have to multiply it by everything in there. So we'll do uh, minus, yeah, maybe I'll make that just so I don't confuse people. Or plus 3 times negative 4. It could be, it'll end up being a minus, but you'll see in a second. So 3 times x will be 3x. 3 times negative 4. This is why I was writing a minus before. Instead of writing plus negative 12, it's just easier to write minus 12, a little bit more simplified. And now from here, the 3x and the minus 12 will not combine because they are unlike terms. Okay, and that would be our answer here, 3x minus 12. Okay, we're going to go over to the right side of the screen here, get to slightly more difficult examples. This one confuses people sometimes because they're not sure what to multiply. The mistake is they want to try and distribute that 3x in front, but there's actually a minus sign in here that tells us we're not actually allowed to do that. So let me show you what we are going to do here. There is a number in front of this parentheses here. If we sneak that invisible one, oops, that was pretty bad. Let me try that again. If we sneak this invisible one in front here, it tells us that we're actually distributing a negative one into the parentheses. So we'll have 3x, and then negative one times x will give me a negative one x, or minus x and negative one times positive one will give me a minus one. I can't take this negative one to the five because the five is not in parentheses. So I'm just gonna bring that down. And now we're gonna look for like terms to combine. Here, unlike this last example, we do have some like terms to combine. If I have three x's and I take one x away, that gives me two x's. And I have five and a negative one, or negative one plus five should simplify two positive 4. And now from here again, I have unlike terms. A 2x and a 4 cannot combine. That's as simplified as we can get there. All right, last but not least, we've got this intimidating looking example. But you'll get good at these where you'll, you'll, you'll be able to crank these out later in the year, no problem. Again, we'll start off with the same step. I'm going to distribute the 2x, 
the 2 into both of these into the 2x and the negative 3. So 2 times 2x gives me 4x. 2 times negative 3 gives me minus 6. That just took care of the first parentheses. Now again, distributing this negative 5 in, I like to circle that negative sign sometimes to show that I'm actually multiplying by a negative here when I distribute. Negative 5 times negative x is going to flip the sign to make that a positive x. Negative times a negative is positive. And then negative 5 times 7 is going to be minus 35. That would be, or plus a negative, same thing. Okay, now we'll look for like terms here. I've got a 4x and a 5x, which gives me a 9x. And now I've got two negative numbers here to combine. Remember, the two negative numbers will give me a bigger negative number. So negative 6 minus 35 is a minus 41. And now it looks like we are finished. Okay, 9x and negative 41 will not combine.